Guys, what is that knife that you see spinning around there? Well, that is the Kaiser Original. This is one of those knives that came to me from Mojave Outdoors, and it is great, and I am really glad that we've got to look at it. So let's turn this around. Let's take a quick look at it from above at this really late 11 p.m. first day in pockets filming. Guys, it is first day in pockets on this Kaiser original in copper. And I got to tell you, this thing is freaking awesome. We're going to take a good close look at this. I have carried this for about nine hours. I put this in my pocket first thing this morning. It is late in the evening now, and it has been amazing. Uh, the action on it. Uh, I took it apart and cleaned cleaned it up because I don't like the lubricant they put on a lot of their knives. Um, has been awesome. But I got to tell you, I was kind of surprised. Size-wise, let's get a couple knives. I'll show you some size comparison. The first knife is a CJRB Rhea. So you can see this is not a real big knife. And I was kind of surprised because in the pictures, I thought this was going to be bigger. And I'm kind of glad it's not. Uh, your next knife is going to be... Benchmade 940. So there you go. You can see a lot of knife. No, a lot of you guys are going to know the size of. Uh, it's not a real big knife. Uh, so and then as always, your final knife for comparison is going to be Christie's Ben's a large 21. So you can see not a real big knife. So let me get this out of the way. I'm going to tell you because I'm really happy with this knife. Let's get this out of the way and talk about this one. So like I said, this is that Kaiser original. I got this from Mojave Outdoors, but I will find um, a way to, to get an affiliate link with them. Right now, that's the only place you can get this. This is done in copper that they've done some kind of uh, blackening coating on. I'm not sure, probably a uh, liver of copper that they used to darken it, but it gives it a really good look. It's done in a button lock, thumb flipper. Oh, I missed the thumb studs. Thumb flipper only that is really smooth. It is a very smooth action on it. It's not quite like drop shut all the time, but there is just zero friction in there. You cannot feel it move. Uh, it is done all in copper and it does have some little steel areas in there uh, that you can see. Um, and I did verify those are steel. Those are like almost like liners, but they did a good bit of weight reduction, which even though this is copper, it's not real heavy. But let's get into the showpiece of this. So this is not, a, like I said, not a real big knife and it's fairly thick blade stock, but they did a really good job transitioning down to the edge on this. And I find it to cut really well. Everything I've done so far today has been great. I did dink the tip a little bit first day carry. I have to admit that I dinked the tip on something already. But other than that, it has been awesome, awesome, awesome. Thumb studs are well back. So any of you guys are worried about it, it getting in the way of the cut, it's not. It's going to be in your thumb area there. The button lock sits nice and flush like when it's uh, closed. So you don't have to worry about that catching on anything. There are no sharp spots or anything on this knife. And I have to say it, it's got zero hot spots. And I'm gonna say something unusual. I haven't found anything wrong with this yet, except for one tiny, tiny thing that's just inherent to its construction. Um, as far as cutting, you've got a really good purchase on this and it sits in the hand super, super well. Pocket clip carries nice and deep so you can carry this in the forward pocket and that pocket clip is not a hot spot. It's not quite as long as some of the other Kaiser clips, which I think makes it a little less intrusive. And so even the little bit of heavy cutting I did, I didn't feel any hot spots. Everything's been chamfered really well. The button lock, like I said, is really good. You don't have to worry about lock bar access. Think the fact that it is a button lock means that you can operate it left or right handed. However, there is no reversible pocket clip on this one. So if you're looking for a reversible pocket clip, you're not going to get it on this knife. You don't have any lanyard hole or aperture on it that makes it like a big hole or anything in it. But the 154 so far has held up really well. And I cut a good bit of light cardboard. We had some stuff come in and I did some light duty cutting with this. But so far it is great. And I think that this, I think as this coating wears a little bit, you can see just in and out of pockets today, um, 
and messing with it and carrying it. I have worn a little bit of that black coating that's on the oxide layer that's on the outside, the blackened finish on it. I've worn a little bit of it off and I think that's gonna patina up nicely. I'm hoping, I don't know, I may try to do a force patina on this, but I'm not sure. The only thing that I will say that could be considered a negative is it is heavy, but it's copper. So you kind of expect that. Copper is really heavy. And it would have been much heavier if they had not done that weight reduction. So, so far, first day in pockets for this knife, I'm really pleased with it. I put this off a little bit um, because I had a lot of other stuff that I needed to get through. And, and I had um, some other stuff going on that I wasn't able to really film this uh, first day in pockets. But I'm really happy with this. Uh, big shout out to Jared again. This is one of the ones that he gave me the uh, his store credit uh, to purchase. Listen to that. That has got such a good, good sound. Tink. I like that. I like the way it feels. There is no blade play in this. This thing is just rock solid. So if you guys are looking for this, the only place you can get this is on Mojave Outdoors. And I'm working my way to getting an affiliate link with them. But right now, that's the only place you're going to find it. That is just an attractive, attractive knife. And I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad when it came. I was kind of surprised by how small it was. I'm absolutely happy that it's in that size factor because it's a very comfortable, small, that sounds so good. It's just a really comfortable, small little carry. So there you go. That's just my first impressions, first day in pocket. Uh, the first carry of this knife, I would absolutely recommend this very, very much. So let's go ahead and turn this around, do some quick final thoughts. Yeah, guys, this thing is, this thing is really, really good. Uh, I am very pleased with this. I almost didn't get this one. I, I looked at it and I passed it a couple times and, and the knives that I did want to get, a couple of them were not in stock. And I just went back to this one. I was like, you know what? That's a good looking knife. And Kaiser's button locks have been really good in the past. No exception. I just wish that this wasn't an exclusive. I wish you could get it some other places that we have options. If you have some place where you have points and stuff. But Mojave Outdoors absolutely does have a point system that you can get when you purchase knives and things like that. So guys, that's pretty much it on this one. Um, I love y'all. Jeez, that's not how we do this. videos a thumbs up if you like them if you don't like them give them a thumbs down but please try to tell me why i can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like if you want to support the channel it's as simple as like share subscribe drop a comment hit the bell icon if you do it the bell icon make sure that you've got it set to all so you get all three notifications that youtube sends and make sure you've got notifications turned on your device if you want to support the channel financially ton of affiliate links down below all of them support the channel directly they don't cost you anything. They just add a little bit of income to the channel. The Amazon stuff, it doesn't matter. You can just click on one of those links and then hit the search tab and search whatever it is you're looking for. Coffee brand, coffee, 5% your, off your overall order. If you use the coupon code crazy sharp, all one word, or just click the link because it's built in. Uh, Doll Strong Knives, some of the largest selection of kitchen knives, sharpening stones, sharpening rods you're gonna find on the market. Uh, and other way you can do it is I have a membership down below. We have got a lot of new members. We're over 100 members now, which is really, really cool. Um, everyone that's a member has access to my Gilded server. The baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on you, uh, that's here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's pretty much it on this one. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>